This video response is going to go out to Survival on a Budget Made Easy, and that's because you uploaded a video entitled Roads with Two Names, Pike County, Indiana. I watched your entire video, and I had a few questions about your video, so let's begin. Do any of the roads you discuss in this video have large potholes? How many roads in Pike County, Indiana have more than one name? How long did it take you to reach these roads? I've seen similar signs in Illinois, but in those cases there are two roads that merge into one. I'm wondering if there was once an extra road in that area that was supposed to merge with this road. Perhaps you could look up the history of the road and find out the backstory. That would be interesting. When it comes to Indiana 61 and 56, I've seen similar signs in Illinois. But in our case, it's usually a U.S. highway and an Illinois road merged together. I don't recognize the sign under the interstate sign. In Illinois, we have a coin sign that represents Lincoln markers. And these would be Lincoln coin markers. I've never really hunted them down, but it probably should. As for the 56 and 61 signs, there are, of course, similar signs in Illinois. In Illinois, it represents two roads that have merged into one. I would take a look at both signs. It looks like one of them is an east-west road and the other is a north-south road. I'm not really sure. You'll have to kind of take a look and see what's going on with that. Near the end of your video, I see you're driving on a gravel road. What's the condition of the gravel road? I've seen gravel roads that I really like, ooh. When you're not certain about the roads, you may ask the people who live on them. They should have addresses that would correctly identify the road. Or you could go to your local library and do some extensive research on the road. Uh, even museums could try to tell you some stories about that. The librarian may know some history concerning the road. All right. Feel free to leave the answers to any of these questions down here in the comments below. And if you happen not to be survival on a budget made easy and you're watching this video right now, feel free to go over to Survival on a Budget Made Easy's YouTube channel, watch his videos, rate his videos, comment on his videos, subscribe to his channel if you like, and more importantly, tell him that the speed learner sent you. Alright, I will tell you more in a future video, so I'd like for you to stay tuned.